This week we're going to take a closer look at the peppers that we're growing this year. We're growing quite a few that we've grown before, but we're also growing some new ones and I'm looking forward to seeing how those do for us. Each year we grow sweet peppers, hot peppers, ornamental peppers, and some hybrid peppers that the bees cross for us. Feel free to let us know what your favorite peppers are in the comments. Out in the main garden I planted 14 different peppers. There are 9 that we've grown before and 5 new ones. Now let's get out there and take a look at them. I started our peppers very early and I topped most of them so you can probably see all the side growth that's going on. This one is Jimmy Nardello and of the sweet peppers that I've grown before this one tastes the best to us. Even though it tastes really good to us every pepper has its pros and cons and this one has very thin walls. Next is New Mex Heritage Big Jim Chili Pepper. This one grows mildly hot, very large chili peppers. Many of ours were between 9 and 12 inches long. I found that ours got hotter the longer they stayed on the plant, so for milder peppers, harvest sooner. This is an F3 cross between a black pearl and an unknown pepper. Here's one of the F2 plants that it produced that I saved seeds from. I did a video on this pepper and some of the other peppers so if you want to see those videos I'll put links down below. Oda is a pepper that we've grown for several years and it's a dependable little sweet pepper that grows on short plants and is very productive. It's a fun pepper to look at and it's a fun pepper to eat. Buena Mulata is a hot pepper with lots of color. For those of you who are familiar with cayenne peppers, it has a very similar size, shape, and heat level as the cayenne. Albino bullnose is a little sweet pepper that reminds me a lot of Oda peppers in its dependability and its size. But as you can see, this one is white. Lesia is a sweet pepper that we grew for the first time last year, and as you can see, I thought enough of it to grow it again this year. It grows heart-shaped peppers that have very thick walls. Chinese five color peppers are an edible ornamental pepper. Like the name suggests, they go through five color changes on their way to maturity. These peppers are pretty hot, coming in at 30,000 to 50,000 on the Scoville heat scale. Mega Gold is a hybrid pepper that I tried for the first time last year and it grows very large, both in terms of the plant and the fruit. These plants got to about five feet tall in our garden and the peppers they produce are very large. I don't grow too many hybrid peppers, but this is one that's worth a try. They taste their best if you let them get to that golden color. Sugar Rush Cream is one that I haven't grown before. It's a hot pepper that is said to be sweet and juicy and of medium heat. This is one that I'm really looking forward to trying. I'm growing Cubanelle for the first time and it's a large thin walled pepper that is said to be sweet and mild. Another new one for us is Ruia and this one has lots of flower buds forming already. This is a sweet bell type pepper and it turns orange when fully ripe. Another sweet pepper that's new to us is called Blot. It's got a very interesting appearance and I'm looking forward to eating one of these for the first time. Aji Rico is a hybrid that is a mildly hot pepper. They say this one also has quite a bit of sweetness to it. I'm growing quite a few of the F3 Black Pearl hybrids so I can see which one I want to carry forward for next year. Each generation gets us closer to having a stable pepper. Another one I'm growing in a container is called Jigsaw. It's an ornamental pepper that has variegated foliage and the peppers go through several color changes. This is another hybrid pepper project that we have going. These are F2 peppers that are a cross between a purple flash and an unknown pepper. There's been quite a bit of variability in these. A few plants had variegated foliage, some were very dark, 
and some were something in between. I'm growing about eight of the F4 Oda hybrid peppers, and I'm hoping that they turn out as well as they did last year, or maybe even better. This is an F2 hybrid that's a cross between a lemon spice jalapeno and a corbaki. I got this from my friends UT, Angel, and Kiddo out in Utah. We're growing a few ornamental peppers in one of the grow bags. The first one is Explosive Ember, and I'm starting to wonder if that one didn't get crossed because of the very dark foliage. The next one is New Mex Easter, and we have two of those. I'm still trying to find a place to plant the next four peppers on the list. The first one is Ahi Pineapple. Ahi Pineapple is a very hot pepper that has lots of flavor before the heat takes over. And as you can see, it's a very productive pepper. The taste of this one actually did remind me of a pineapple before the heat took over. Shishito is a pepper that's served in many restaurants as an appetizer. Even though it's a sweet pepper, you'll occasionally get one randomly hot one. So be prepared for that if you decide to grow these. We like to put a little olive oil in a pan and heat them until they start to blister. Ahi mango is another pepper that has a lot of flavor before the heat takes over. I went ahead and pinched the top off of this one just to get it to branch out more. Not only does this one taste great and is very productive, but it adds a lot of interesting color to the garden. Finally, we have one more ahi pepper. This is ahi lemon. This one's also pretty hot and it does have a citrus taste before the heat takes over. If you like really hot peppers and have never tried growing ahi lemon, ahi pineapple, or ahi mango, I would recommend any of the three. Let us know some of the peppers you're growing this year. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.